heard your son got into high school. Yeah, he did. Thankfully. I thought your kid would never go to high school. I didn't think he'd make it. Good for him. Is that a diss? I'm just telling the truth. Hmm. As usual, you still have a way of getting on people's nerves. So, what high school did he go to? Well, your kid's an idiot, so I'm sure it's a bottom of the barrel school. I guess my kid's an idiot, so he's going to go to one of the hardest schools in the country. That's a lie. Isn't it a place where a very high deviation? What about Amelia's kid? Didn't he choose a good high school? Your kid is very smart. Like you, Amelia. Of course. It's my kid, after all. So, which high school? It's a secret, though. I won't brag like you. I'm not bragging at all. When the school name comes out as a difficult school, that's bragging. I'm sorry about that. I kind of noticed that, but I didn't realize it. You really piss me off, you know that? Can we just congratulate each other without saying that? Thank you. So, are you going to celebrate the new school year or something? Of course we will. Oh, so you're going to get him a present? What are you going to give him? Well, I'm gonna give him a gift, but I'm thinking mostly food. A meal? Well, you're an impoverished person, so maybe you'll just have dinner at a local diner and be done with it. We can't just go to a family restaurant. Where would you eat if not at a family restaurant? It's a French restaurant. What? It's a very expensive restaurant. I heard you have to wait a year for a reservation. You're right, we did. We waited a year. That's a lot of pressure. I've always wanted to try a place like that. It's perfect. I'd like to try that place too, but it's not easy to afford that place. Yes, it's not easy unless you have to do something like that. But why did you make a reservation in advance? You don't even know if you'll get in or not. Isn't it not stupid? Stupid? We got in with a recommendation, so it was decided a year in advance. Everyone else is studying hard for the entrance exam. It's not fair. It's not cheating. It pisses me off. It was good enough to get the teacher's recommendation. It can't be helped. I was surprised too. He's lucky he didn't look like you. Hey, you've been dissing me for a while now, haven't you? You care too much. I mean, you know you have something to be made fun of. That's why you think that way. Don't contact me if you're just going to make fun of me. This is just a communication. Can't you understand that? I don't know. It's not something I'd normally do. So, what time and day is it? What's that supposed to mean? Why don't you just tell me when it's happening so that it will be easier for us to plan, right? Why are you asking about our schedule for you to make your schedule, Amelia? Isn't it nice? You really pay attention to details, huh? But that's also why you're being disliked. That word just boomeranged. Whatever. Just tell me. I'm just asking. March 17th, the evening of the 17th. Evening? That's very vague. Normally, you'd have a specific time. So, what time is it? I don't know. I don't remember the details. Then, you'll be troubled when you don't know the time. I won't be troubled. I'm the one who's troubled. What in the world are you thinking? Shut up. Just tell me. It's been a year since I made the reservation, so I don't know what time it is. I have to look at the schedule. But when I say evening, I mean dinner time, right? That's right, but your husband always comes home late. That's a sudden change of subject. My husband is a salesman. He comes home at different times. Hmm, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your school engine celebration at the very least. Thank you, but I think you used the word least wrong. No, it's fine. On the day... Hi there, Mia. We used the reservation you made a year before and they let us in under your name. 
it's so good and everyone was so happy and it's free we finished eating two hours ago what why so early your husband's a salesman he said he was late it's sunday it's a holiday why didn't you say so i don't need to tell anyone about it i'm telling you because i need you to i don't understand what you're saying well it's over i'll let you off the hook there huh i'm more interested in the fact that when i came in under your name he came to celebrate school admission today that's what he said i was told that too and they said congratulations on your admission yeah that's what they said i was so surprised that's what you get at a fine dining restaurant isn't it my husband and son were very impressed i'm so glad we celebrated at that restaurant that's not the point i've been told the same thing i went in there under your name which means i'm not the one who made the mistake then why did you eat first what's going on i don't know we've already eaten we're back at home then why did they let us in because we came exactly at what we booked we didn't have any problem we have a problem you guys finished your meal first so what about us i told you i don't know i said i'm a smith and they said come in i think he must have confused you with another smith smith johnson williams brown there are a lot with the same name why do you have a name like that it's confusing you should have changed your name in times like this don't you ever think about it as far as i'm concerned there's no need to change it in the first place why are you there under my name isn't it obvious if i came in under your name you pay for everything is that what you meant why you asked for my appointment details of course i did i wouldn't go to this fancy french place with my own money i'm not going to pay for it with my own money and since you said you had reservations here i thought i'd jump on the bandwagon you didn't even notice that you're an idiot no one would ever think of doing that i'm smart that's how i get my ideas you think you can do that that's just fine you're way below me anyway lower in what way status you're the lowest among the mom friends that's why you just have to listen to me when did that happen from the beginning who made that decision it was my decision you're a bastard as usual anyway even if you came in under my name you don't have my card meaning amelia would have to pay what are you going to do about it isn't it on the tab you know we're not that rich my husband is a regular businessman a regular businessman they wouldn't pay with a credit card at a restaurant like this they usually would well come and pay who's going to why would i do that for you i'm not taking a lot of money all the way out there who would have thought it was possible if you don't come to pay i'll tell everyone about it who's everyone our mom friends it's okay to blow yourself up i'm not gonna blow myself up it's not my fault bragging about eating at a french restaurant was you so it's your fault i feel like i'm talking to a child anyway i finished my dinner two hours ago and i'm at home because the smith that amelia talked about is not me whoever that is just come here and pay up hey do you have a grade schooler in your head i don't think a grade schooler would even think this way maybe there's a kindergartner in there there's no one like that inside me there's no such thing oh okay look you're having a family dinner i don't think it's a good idea for you to be talking to me my husband's in the bathroom my son is on his cell phone so you're telling me you're just trying to pass the time 
I'm not killing time. I'm bragging. There's nothing for you to be proud of. Well, let's end this line. No, you haven't solved the problem yet. Actually, yes. I don't know how you got in there. I don't know either. That's not what I want to know. I mean, why did they have to make the place so crowded? They call it upscale, but it's too noisy. Where restaurant are you at? Where? The French restaurant F. No, I mean, where is this restaurant located? In front of station A. Oh, I knew it. What? I made a reservation at the one in front of station B. Station A has a lot of passengers and a lot of customers. So I made a reservation at the one in front of station B. Oh, so that's what this is about. What? Not here? Looks that way. It's confusing. I thought it was this restaurant. Then why didn't you say B station in the first place? I told you it's not my problem. There's no need to tell you, Amelia. If you'd have told me, this wouldn't have happened. For example, even if I had, we finished eating two hours ago, meaning you couldn't even get in. Still, if it's the one you ate at, me was supposed to pay. My plan would have pushed through. This is so disgusting, it's making me dizzy. But then again, another Smith was going to have dinner to celebrate her entrance into school too? Smiths are all so cool. Why are you like that? You put 100% of what you do on the shelf. Anyway, this is all because of your confusing name. It's your fault, so you should be paying for this place. I'm telling you that's not going to happen. I didn't make that reservation. I didn't eat there. I don't know anything about that. Don't tell me what to do. You pay. I won't pay. If you don't do it soon, my husband, he'll come back. You and your husband will have to settle that. Oh no. If you don't pay, what will happen to the bill for this place? Like I said, you guys ate it. You have to pay for it yourself. I can't do that. That's impossible. It's okay. I don't know what corset another smith was ordering. The most expensive course is 20000 That's about 60000 for the three of you. That's not all. We thought it was free, so we ordered a lot of wine and cake. You are so screwed. That's why I need you to come pay for it. I don't have that kind of money. If he comes out, he'll be pissed. I think he should be pissed. It's not good. Just hurry, come and pay this. If you don't pay up, I'm gonna tell all our mom friends and then you'll be ignored by everyone. And I'm sure your husband won't be able to go to work. Well, why is that? If I tell the neighbors, Mia's husband's company will find out. Who else works at the same company as my husband? You'll get in trouble for sure, so hurry up. Come and pay this. A few days later... Oh my god, what's going on? Even if you suddenly ask me what's going on... What's going on? Don't answer a question with a question. You made my husband mad at me. Now you're blaming me again. Just because your husband got mad at you, you can't be mad at me just because he is mad at you. Anyway, it's impossible to say it's my fault. It's because of you. It's your fault for saying unnecessary things to my husband. What are you talking about? About the other night at the restaurant. Restaurant? Oh, okay. That one. The other day, I bumped into Amelia's husband. He asked why I hadn't paid the bill. He thought it was my treat for you guys a French dinner to celebrate. So I just told him the truth. Why would you say that? He was so happy that you gave my son a gift for starting school. I had no intention at all of treating you guys a French cuisine. I just told the truth. That day, we ended up with a bill of a thousand dollars. He paid it. That's good. That's not good at all. He've been so mad at me since then. 
and he said that since he paid the bill, he wants me to buy him a thousand worth of golf equipment. Oh my. My condolences. It's your fault. You buy it for him and give it to him. I don't understand you. It's Amelia's fault for trying to get free dinner with other people's money. Why don't you buy a present for your husband? We don't have that kind of money. I don't work. My husband only gives me enough money to live on. There's no way I can afford a thousand dollars. Then why don't you work? You have a big kid. It's a waste of time to stay at home. I don't like working. You're so selfish. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. My husband won't talk to me. The house is freezing. No matter how much I cook him his favorite food, I can't even get a smile out of him. And yet, he wants his thousand dollars back. I'm a mental wreck. Oh my, Amelia is so mentally fragile that it crumbles. I didn't know you had it in you. You always talk about how you're going to push people down. I thought you had a hair on your heart. What do you think I am? It's your fault. You got what you deserved. Besides that, my husband promised to get my son a new pair of gloves. But he said he couldn't because the money went to food. Then he went ballistic saying I lied to him. And he said it was because we went to that French restaurant. So I told him that Mia told me to go. He didn't believe me at all. You're blaming me again? It's your fault. I didn't say anything wrong. I'll never forgive you. A few days later. Hey, answer me. Or better yet, just read it. What? I don't know why you're asking me to read your messages when I'm busy. I don't give a shit if you're busy or not. You're a mess. My neighbors won't talk to me. You said something else you shouldn't have. Why are you telling everyone? After what you did to me, after all you've done to me and all you've said to me, I could at least bitch about it. You did, didn't you? Because of you, I'm the one who's being looked and ignored. They look at me like I'm a freak. They ignore me. I'm being ignored in my own house. Neighbors are ignoring me. It's your fault. I don't think it is. Don't you dare say that. It's not. You're not saying it. You're writing it. Shut up. And it's because a big thing at my husband's company. He's really pissed at me. Be glad you had a conversation. That's not what I meant. Some of our neighbors work for the same company as my husband. What are you going to do about it? You deserve what you got, didn't you? He already asked for a divorce. Take responsibility. It's all your fault. It's not my fault. It's your fault, Amelia. Don't you get it? It's not my fault. I really, really hate you, Amelia. Shut up. After that, eventually her husband couldn't stand the rumors and requested to be transferred to another company. And her son too. He got a reputation at school for having a lousy mother and has stopped going to school. The transfer request had just been accepted. The husband who had decided to transfer divorced Amelia and moved to another city with their son. Amelia went back to her parents' house, but her parents were angry with her and refused to live with her. She now lives alone in an apartment. I haven't seen Amelia since then, but her neighbors talk. They say that she blames others for everything. Next episode, my name is Sophia. I got a job after high school. After five years, I married my husband whom I met at a company I worked for. Three years after I married my husband, my son was born. Surrounded by my husband and my beautiful son, I was living a happy life. But recently, I have been having a problem. It was a friend of mine, Emma, who also has a child the same age as my son. Emma is always late. She has never been on time for an appointment. When I first met Emma, she was only 5 minutes late. Recently, she has been arriving up to an hour late. Today, while I was having lunch at work, 
I received a call from Emma. Hey, Sophia. What are you doing? It's my lunch break, so I'm having lunch. I see. What are you doing right now, Emma? I'm watching a drama. Drama? That's nice. I'm really into these foreign dramas that are all the rage these days. The actors in those dramas have these cool nose waxes. It's so cool. It's cool, isn't it? But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I called Sophia because I had a question to wanted to ask you. You wanted to ask me something? That's right. We're going to a cafe next time out with the moms, right? What time is the meetup? We'll meet at 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 o'clock. Okay, okay. William's mom, who made the reservation for us, said if you're late, you won't be allowed in. So please be on time. What? Is that so? What do you mean by that? What? You make it sound like I'm always late. I didn't mean it that way. I don't think so. You're really pissing me off. I don't mean to be late. I'm always on time, but my secretary is a jerk. That's why I'm late. Okay. I'm sure you, Sophia, knows exactly how I feel. I'm the one among mom friends who have no sense of style at all. I mean, it's not like... I put so much thought into my makeup and clothes, that's why I'm always late. That's why I'm never on time. I understand. Emma, you don't have to be so passionate about this. Shut up. You know, Sophia, you're the one who's always talking out of your ass. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I'll see you at 10 o'clock. I'll be there. Don't worry about me. Emma's not only always late, but she has temper tantrums. If I'm not careful with what I say, she can get very angry. So, my friends and I, we keep our distance from Emma. However, the friends who have distanced themselves from Emma before suffered from Emma's angry line attacks and even refused to turn in printouts. They were being harassed by Emma in a very unsophisticated way. And the friend of the moms, because of Emma's harassment, she decided to move out. Emma's sober harassment had caused her to move out. My friends and I felt sorry for her, but it was difficult to make a case against the harassment. Emma is living her life without a care in the world, so we made sure to keep our relationship with Emma on the surface. We made it a rule to have a casual relationship with Emma. A few days later, the day of the cafe arrived. An incident happened. On the day of the cafe... Emma, where are you? It's already time, so we're going in the restaurant. Wait a minute. We'll be there in an hour. What? Emma, where are you? I just left home. Cafes are punctual. We're going in. You've got to be kidding me. Who authorized that? I think I already told you that. Why don't you just make the waiters wait? You people are really stupid. I think it's Emma's fault you're late. Shut up, shut up. I have a lot to prepare for. It's not like we're a poor family. I'm sorry to hear that. One last piece of advice, Sophia. Go talk to William's mom and negotiate with the waitress to wait for me. I can't do that. Hmm. You're going against me. That's okay. I have my own ideas. What the hell are you talking about? That's none of Sophia's business. Anyway, I'm not feeling well today. I'm gonna cancel. As our viewers predicted, Emma was late, and on top of that, she put it on the shelf and complained about it. She complained about this and that. I think it's out of line for her to be late repeatedly. But to put it on the shelf and complain about it is even more out of line. Emma is such an out-of-this-world person, and she is very concerned about her beauty. She goes to the gym, 
She works out three times a week and eats an organic diet. She's very careful about what she eats, but her actual face is a mess. I don't know if this is the right thing for me to say, but but the worst part is the makeup. Emma's foundation is so thick that it cracks. It's repeatedly thickly coated. She always comes out looking like a kabuki actor. People say that if you spend more than two hours in makeup, it is a work of art. Emma spends four hours on her makeup. But enough about Emma. Let's go back to Emma. For a few months after that, I didn't hear from Emma for a few months. But then, around the time the seasons changed, suddenly, Emma contacted me. A few months later, Sophia, I overheard something. Emma, it's been a while. Shut up, shut up. You owe me an apology first. What? What the hell is going on? How dare you deliberately not invite me to the party? This grudge is gonna cost you. Wait, wait a minute. I did throw the party. Then who the hell did? I'm under no obligation to answer that question. Oh, you're being so stubborn. But it's no use. I've already done my research. It was hosted by William's mom. You knew? If you knew, you didn't have to ask me. I was just curious to see Sophia's reaction. But then again, that poor, stupid single mother. She a single mother from the bottom of the barrel. I can't believe that poor woman didn't ask me out. She's out of her mind. How can you be so mean? Shut up. It's none of your business. But I have a good news for you, Sophia. What is it now? I just called William's mom and I'm going to the party too. Oh, really? You're going? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No, I don't. Are you an elite, Sophia? Please stop the unnecessary comments. It affects the length of the video. Oh well. Anyway, I'll be at the party. Good luck with your preparation. Anyway, you're the Sophia who look like a mole. So please get ready. I was really looking forward to this party, but now that Emma's going to be there, it turned into a boring event at once. And then, after Emma's call, I got a call from William's mom. She apologized for giving in to Emma's line attack. I felt sorry for William's mom, so I decided to come up with a plan to deal with Emma. I quickly contacted William's mom and started to make preparations. After all the preparations, the day of the party finally arrived. The day of the party. Emma, it's time to meet for the party. Where are you? I'm sorry. I just woke up. Emma, where are you? I'm still at home. Oh no. Sophia and the girls, I know you've been through a lot. It's a party and you didn't get the delivery. I'm pretty sure it didn't arrive. Do you know anything about this, Emma? Of course I know. The one who cancelled the delivery was me. What? Why would you do that? I had no choice. Why should I feed the poor people when I'm not at the party? Oh no! I don't mind. I'm the star of this party. Don't forget that. And the star of the show is supposed to show up late. But how could Emma cancel the delivery order? It's simple. The company that runs the delivery service is my husband's company. So you were planning to be late from the beginning? That's right. I'm the star of the show. Okay, well, that's fine. What do you mean? Because the party's already started. What? Who are you partying with without me? My mom, friends, and their families. And Emma's husband, of course. He's at the party, too. 
Oh my god. When I told him you were late, Emma's husband was furious. Oh no. And on top of that, all the tardiness and misbehavior, we told him all about it. What have you done? It's the first time I've heard about it, that you've been very bad to William's mom. You did turn in the printouts. You were stealing her mail. How did you know about that? William's mom's house has security cameras. It's a protection from Emma. Bullshit. No single mom in her shitty neighborhood has that kind of money. You didn't know? William's mom is a career woman. She makes over 10 million a year. What? Emma, are you okay? I'm not going to the party. I don't feel well. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought this was supposed to be our last dinner. What do you mean? Emma's husband heard what we said. He got down on his knees and apologized. He's going home now and he's taking Emma with him. He's going to the police. No way. I'm going to the police. Considering all the bad things you've done, I'm not surprised. Wait. You have to convince William's mom. I can't. You have to give up. No, 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 no. After that, Emma's husband took Emma to the police. She is now living in police custody. They say there is no doubt she is living a life called by number. Meanwhile, her husband took their son and moved out. Now that Emma is gone, I am enjoying my life every day.